definitely changes my perception about like how how safe things are. Thieves getting into secure parking garages to steal valuable items. It's a story you'll only see here on 10 News. And Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha joins us on this story. And Mel, the crook had just the right tools to get into those garages. Yeah, unfortunately, that person did. In at least one incident, the alleged thief had remotes, key fobs, and keys to get into secure areas of various properties, according to a memo from one property management company. Now, several car break-ins have happened at this condo complex on 6th Avenue. One victim them told me whoever is responsible is breaking into more than just cars. Well, I guess my car is here. Jeff Ramos parks in a secure garage on the bottom floor of his condo complex, but that didn't stop someone from breaking into his car. Like right here, so they, you know, snuck in right here, smashed this window, and then took took my backpack. A backpack with a work computer and other personal items. Total value, a couple thousand dollars, and he wasn't the only one. Right down the way, like maybe five spaces down, there's another guy who had his backpack in the car also, so they smashed his window. He lives at the park on six condos. His break-in happened several weeks ago. The Team 10 learned of a more recent break-in at the same complex on December 3rd. This is a surveillance photo of the truck the burglar used. Even with the recently installed cameras, people are still kind of bold that they, it's kind of not really been deterring them. Police say whoever is doing this is smashing the passenger side window and stealing high end items like computers, jewelry, power tools, even drone equipment. Jeff says at least at his complex, the break ins go beyond cars. And you can see like where they like come with a crowbar. His locker also burglarized earlier this year. He says police never caught that person. The complex did make some changes, including adding barbed wire around their perimeter and these pointy stakes to deter people from jumping over the wall. I don't know if I call it paranoid or vigilant now. It definitely changes my perception about like how, how safe things are, even if they're locked in my car. And police told me there has been an increase in car burglaries over the past few months, so much so they recently formed a new night investigative team devoted to keeping an eye specifically on these crimes. And the main thing investigators tell me, Kim and Steve, is that even if you're in a secure garage, just really don't leave anything of value inside ever. What gets me is the thieves know that there are cameras and they're still bold enough to go in and do this. Yeah, and in one specific incident in that surveillance photo, apparently that thief uh, covered the, the license plate. So he had some, some thinking right. to do beforehand. That was just what was on our minds, is with all that video, they had to have the license plates. So if every time it, they went in covered, it's going to make it a little harder. Yeah, right. hopefully they catch him soon. Yeah, still have their ways.